Hi everyone. Um, so I'm going to do a video. I'm going to see how it goes because I am actually just about to bath my daughter. My hair is a bit crazy, um, but I just wanted to come on here real quick and talk about like how health anxiety can give you symptoms that aren't there, and it's it just literally blows my mind. Like I've had this so many times, and I still can't like grasp the fact that my mind can actually do this to me so my health anxiety is 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 gotten a lot worse over the last um i'd say two months or so i don't really know why don't know what triggered it um but i've been googling again and i've just i've just basically been a mess but um i was having sinus problems um about a couple of weeks ago um i had like loads of pressure in my um face i was having headaches um and yeah i was really worried so i googled and then got myself all worked up oh are you okay <laughs> got myself all worked up over a brain tumor started reading the symptoms anyway i don't want to go into it too much in detail because i don't want to like trigger you guys but for example the one symptom of um a brain tumor um is vision changes so i literally kid you not the next day i was having all floaters in front of my eyes i was having flashing things i kept like looking around because i felt like i was seeing things just like in the corner of my eye like in my peripherals and it was just insane because like i, I don't know whether i really like manifested those symptoms or whether i was just imagining them but it just blows my mind like and this has happened so many times <laughs> this has happened so many times to me um i remember about a year ago i for some reason got convinced that i had a blood clot don't know why um got myself all worked up over it and my leg the one that i thought that had the blood clot in went warm and red and i called an ambulance because i was just being dramatic back then and the ambulance guy said to me he was like yeah your leg is 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 warm and a lot redder than the other one but i didn't have a blood clot <laughs> so it's like when i read the symptoms i get the symptoms and i just think it's it terrifies me but it fascinates me at the same kind of in the, in the same instance because it's just like how are how are our minds that powerful like to to just be able to manifest these things and to, I don't know, it's crazy, but my most recent thing is, um, so I found a bruise under my toenail and I didn't realize that you could get, um, also just putting a trigger warning out there, I'm gonna talk about cancer now, so um, don't, don't watch this if you don't wanna uh, hear about it, but I didn't realize that you could get skin cancer under your nail so, when I saw this bruise and I googled it, obviously, completely convinced myself that I had, um, you're gonna come, you're gonna come up? Up. Up. Stay with me, guys. I had a feeling this was gonna happen. Okay, then. Oh, you're gonna come on my YouTube video. Yeah, say hello. Can you wave? Say hello, YouTube. Mummy's just ch talking about her anxiety. Anxiety, yeah. But we're hoping that you're not going to get anxiety because Mummy's going to learn how to teach you not to have it. Or, well, you probably will have it, but just how to manage it properly. That's the most important thing, isn't it? Oh, thank you. Um, so, yeah, I thought that I had uh, cancer under my nail. And um, I started reading up on it, read up about like, Bob Marley and... Water, yeah. Uh, Bob Marley and like how he sort of like got ill from that. And um, what's that? That's Mummy's netty pot. Oh, that's another thing that got me all freaked out is the netty pot. I'm not even gonna go into that because that's another story. Um, what colour is the bottle? Blue. Also, my 17 month old knows her colours. What colour is your top? Pink. Pink. Crazy. Um, so yeah, I started reading at the symptoms of uh, basically nail cancer and I started to get a throbbing feeling in my, oh, thank you Willow, lovely, started to get a throbbing feeling in my toe. Um, it's just crazy, just li literally crazy.
easy. And you know what? Once I've like, so I'll worry about one thing and then I'll worry about one thing and then something else will pop up. And then all of those symptoms that I was worrying about a week ago are completely gone. So I had all these sinus problems. They're all gone. Um, and now I am worried about my toe. And I know that in another week or two, um, it'll be something else. But each time it feels so intense and serious to me that I just get myself in a right state. I've been Googling for hours on end and it's just really not good because do you know what? I feel like I'm not present with her because any chance I'm getting, I am basically Googling. And that, uh, to me, that that's not... I don't want Willow to see me always on my phone. Um, so, yeah, I definitely need to, to stop it now. But I just... I just wanted to come on here and just talk about how it's crazy that when you read something, you, you'll get it. Um, not get it, but you'll get the symptoms. So, yeah, I want to start up a little discussion. So if this has happened to you guys, let's kind of all share um, our experiences. And, you know, you never know, it might, it might help somebody. Um, so, yeah, I just think it's crazy. And sorry this video has been a little bit wild. Um, this is just motherhood. Yeah. Being a mama, you're gonna say bye to YouTube now. So we say bye bye. Let me hold that. Say bye. Look, it says. Mwah. Say we love you. And we hope you have a good day. And we hope you get better. Come in. Um. So yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.